Hello, this is Gladys with the Events Calendar. Today, I'm going to show you how to embed a single event with a shortcode. A tribe event inline shortcode is very powerful and provides much more control over what event details are displayed. You can embed a single event anywhere a shortcode can be rendered, such as footers and widget areas. So before we get started, there's two things to keep in mind. In order for this shortcode to render properly, you must provide an event's ID and at least one shortcode variable. You can find the shortcode variables at our knowledge base article. And to find the event's ID, navigate to your WordPress admin, go to your events, hover over the event, click edit. And in the address bar, just next to post equals, you'll find a number. So my post ID is 544. Now that I have that, let's go edit my event of the month page. And I'm using the block editor, so I'm going to click the plus button and select short code. And from there, I'm going to just add the basic short code that we need to get our event to render properly. So you can see I have my ID here and I have a title. So click update and preview. So you can see we have our title here. And let's go back in and edit this and add some more information. Let's add a featured image and link the title and the image at the times and a short description. So you can see now the title variable has changed a bit. You can see I have this title colon linked. That will link my title. So I want to link my thumbnail as well, but this linked parameter will not work with the thumbnail. But you can also wrap our thumbnail with a URL variable as well. That will make sure that that thumbnail is linked. And I'd also like to point out that different themes and site editors will render your shortcode text differently. So my theme is going to render these into paragraphs pretty much. But I'd like to edit this and make it into a heading. So I'm going to just wrap this in an H2 tag. And I'm going to go ahead and style this a little bit. I'll get my favorite color. And update. And then preview our changes here. So now you can see if I hover over the image, it does link to my event now. Uh, the title is now uh, a bigger font and is purple. And we've got our times here and we have our short description here. So let's go ahead and add a single event into a widget as well. So I have a blog post here and I'm going to just add into our blog post sidebar a short code that's going to embed the same event. So in order to do that, we're just going to head into our WordPress dashboard again, and we'll go to appearance and widgets. And sidebar one is my sidebar that's going to be the sidebar for the blogs. So I'm going to just add a heading for this new section of my sidebar. And we'll move that up here. I'm going to put that just underneath and we'll add our short code again. Um, I'll just move that up here before I forget. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to, I'm going to add our short code in. I'm going to remove a little bit of information here just to keep it short and sweet. So I'm just going to take out the excerpt. And again, this is going to format my text into paragraphs. So I want to format this title into a smaller font size. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap my thumbnail with my URL variable. Update and let's preview that page now. And there you go.